My friend Mitchell is always full of creative, imaginative, and innovative ideas. She's always taking everyday objects and turning them into something, well, extraordinary, if not spectacular. I'm very excited about this project. So, you know what happens when you have some leftover bowls. You put them in the cabinet and you think you're gonna use them because it's horrible to throw them away, but you don't use them. They just sit in the cabinet. I know that you do that because that's what I do. So I've found something fun to make with these bowls and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, we're gonna cut off this trim. This is a free craft because I know you have some of this stuff in your house and I don't want any lip left. Then I'm going to take two different kinds of fabric for each bowl and I've chosen for this bowl to cover it in this blue scrap fabric and this black with the multicolored flowers on it. So I'm going to cut about one inch strips, a whole lot of them. To start this, Yay, Mod Podge, and a little bit of water. Not much of either one. And I'm just dumping a little bit of Mod Podge in there and a little bit of water and stirring it around. And this, and coating this inside of the bowl with it. We're gonna do the inside first. And if there's too much right here, we just take another bowl and dump a little in there. But this for our preliminary coat. And then we take our strips of cloth and I'm gonna go across for the first one. I'm gonna put it in there like that and go all the way across for the first couple. And cut it right here. Go across, all the way across. A little bit over the top is fine but mainly I'm pushing my fingers down in here and just matting it down. Now later we'll come in and do another coat to make sure everything gets laid down correctly. We don't want bubbles. We start off with a cross like that and then for the next few, we just start cutting. We don't need to go all the way to the middle. So we're just gonna work our way around. I'm gonna move on to this one. So this is what it starts to look like. And then I use my little mixture a little more. Thinner than regular Mod Podge, but thicker than super water. And you just cut. And I'm kind of a messy crafter, but my crafts always turn out great, so I don't worry about it. You work your way around this bowl and it looks like this. And so even when it's wet, when it gets just a little bit where it's almost dry, but it's still, this is not dry. When it dries, it'll be a blue and you won't be able to see the red through it. It's tacky still, but I can go ahead and start doing the outside. So for the outside, I wanna do it pretty much in the same way. I'm just gonna take some strips and run them across and work my way around. I'm doing the outside just like I did the inside. When I go all the way around this, I'm gonna coat it with another coat of Mod Podge, all to seal it, and then let it dry. And this is gonna take about four to six hours to dry. But when it dries, it should look pretty much like this. Now, at this point, when we've got it, we trim the outsides down to our plastic edge. And again, this does not have to be super even. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be super straight because we're gonna trim it out. Now see, this is still really super flexible. No one will know that there's a little piece of plastic liner in there. It'll all look fabric, but you will have the strength of having plastic on the inside. This is bias tape and I got it for 10 cents at a garage sale. And even if you have to go to Hancock Fabrics to get it, it's not very expensive at all. It's less than $2 for a big roll of it. And what it is, is a thin piece of cotton fabric that's cut on the bias, which means crisscross. And that's why it goes where you want it to go, like a really good date. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a little bit of tacky glue, 
So I'm gonna do it just at the top edge and not very much. I do not want to overdo it on the glue at this point because the bias tape won't wanna stick. So you just wanna do a little bit of glue around the edge. And you can do a bunch of these at a time, a whole stack at a time because these look way better in groups, which I will show you. And you can just use scrap fabric. It does not take much fabric at all. Now, I'm gonna take my bias tape and where this opening is, I'm just gonna roll it. And this glue is tacky glue and it will dry clear. Right here, I'm gonna clamp it with my a little clothespin. And then I'm gonna go around the edge and just roll it with my fingers and not worry. I was gonna give this away, but I don't think I'm going to now. I think I know where I'm gonna put it in my house. I've gotten to the end. Now, I wanna cut this diagonally. Right there. It will overlap to that one. Put a little dot right here at the end to close it off. This will all dry clear, and this already has a sealant on it. And look how cool that is. Look how great these look stacked. These turned out so cool, I'm gonna keep them in my own house instead of giving them away this time. And I made these with things I already had around my house that you probably do too.